BMW's first all-electric product for India is here and boy does it stand out. Now the brand might be a little late to the luxury EV space but they've come crashing to the party with this. Look at it, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. It's like any other BMW that we've seen before and I'm really excited to see how it rolls on our Indian roads but we'll come to that at a later stage. For now, let me tell you more about the iX from where we are at the group's training facility in Gurugram. So here are top 10 things that you need to know about the BMW iX. Now everyone has been talking about the grill. Just look at it, it's quite humongous, isn't it? But I'm not even sure if these could be called a grill because there are no vents for the air to pass through. The air goes through for the cooling of the motor through these vents here that open only when required. But what these are, are self-healing plastic panel. Behind these are sensors for the ADAS system. You have, we've got a little radar system here, you've got a camera here and this has a film that helps it with self-healing. So your minor scratches and stone chips will be healed automatically if you leave the car in sunlight for 24 hours or if you apply heat to this panel, they will heal within 10 minutes. Oh. Well, this being an electric vehicle obviously does not get an engine. But very interestingly, on the BMW iX, you can't even open the bonnet. The only thing that opens here well, pops open is this BMW logo for you to fill the washer fluid. So these headlamps and these tail lamps, they are the sleekest to be ever installed in a BMW. Looks like they've just cut slits on the body of the vehicle and they look really cool, don't they? Now the rear camera is integrated within the BMW logo and that is to keep the design clutter free, which it does, that is the theme for the car. Also this camera automatically cleans itself with a washer system that is integrated within this logo. It pops out and cleans the camera. It's very cool. Now these lights, you've obviously got them here but open the tailgate and you've also got lights on either side of the frame here. How cool is that? Exposed carbon fiber and let me show you the boot. So this is the standard boot but if you lift this like that You've got a little space here to put in your precious belongings, hide them from the common sight. Mm. Now BMWs, they've always been about the sheer driving pleasure and the iX, well, we've been told it is no different. Obviously, we'll have to wait to verify those claims. But let me show you something very, very clever. This is how you open the doors. The control is concealed here, but that is not the cool stuff that I was talking about. It is this, the iX gets a carbon fiber tub for this cabin here and it's all been left exposed so that BMW can tell you that they care about the driving experience. Now say what you have to about the iX's exteriors but the interiors they are just so fantastic. It's been a long time coming, we've been bored of those typical BMW interiors and this just adds so much freshness. Everything from the design to the quality of materials and everything here has been made of sustainable materials. Look at the steering wheel, it's hexagonal, it's been derived from the BMW's motorsport history and notice it is two spoke. Now something that you should really know about the iX's cabin is that it uses this crystal buttons for the central console for the driver seat adjustment and bits and pieces like this. And these are just a marvelous piece of art, just the way they look, just the way they function, the feedback, oh, feels luxurious. Now, what is also very interesting is this. Now, BMW calls it the shy technology, which is basically a theme that runs throughout the car for those clever bits. The technology that you use, the human interfaces, they don't come across until unless you use them. For instance, these buttons here, they aren't additional control switches. Instead, they are integrated, embedded within this wooden panel. Now, the single panel roof that you see here is the largest panoramic sunroof that BMW has fit to any of these cars. Look at it, it spreads throughout the length of this SUV but more interestingly it uses an electrochromic technology so three layers stacked over each other and in between is a layer of crystals what happens when you press this button is that the voltage gets cut out for those crystals and that 
prompts them to scatter light in a very dispersed way. Basically, the iX does not need a cloth to cover the screen because it can do that electrochromically. Now, taking center stage in this all new, refreshingly new BMW cabin is this curved screen. It is just brilliantly put together. Now, it's divided into two parts, the 12.3 inch instrument cluster for the driver and a 14.9 inch screen, the infotainment screen. Also, this uses BMW's latest 8th generation iDrive system. As you can see, very fluidic. The buttons here, the physical buttons, they have been completely removed and even controls for the AC are placed here. And there you go, it gets all these icons. Everything is accessible through the screen. Very intuitive to use, very fluidic and again, very upmarket. Now internationally, the iX is offered with two powertrain options. You get the X-Drive 40 and the more powerful X-Drive 50. In India, BMW has only confirmed the X-Drive 40, but that is for now. What this car gets are two electric motors that sit on either axles and in total it produces 200. And in total it produces 322 bhp and 630 newton meters of torque, which translates to a 0 to 100 time of 6.1 seconds. Pretty fast for a family SUV. Also, it comes with a 71.2 kWh battery pack, which gives it a range of a WLTP claimed range of 372 kilometers to a maximum of 425 kilometers. In real world, it should do about 350 kilometers, but then again, that depends on a lot of conditions. This being an electric vehicle, we'll put all of that into test during our first drive review. So stay tuned for that. Now to give you a little perspective about the iX's dimensions, it is similar to the X5 in terms of its length and width and similar to the X6 in terms of its height and that is due to its sloping roofline. Now the iX is here to compete against the likes of the Mercedes-Benz EQC, the Audi e-tron GT, the Jaguar I-Pace and should be priced quite similarly. So what does that mean? We are looking at a price tag upwards of the crore mark but then again given how technologically advanced this car is even as compared to its luxury rivals i think the ix should come with a starting price of 1.25 crores and the bmw officials tell us that it is going to come in a single spec variant which gets all the bells and whistles like the crystal switches and bits and pieces like that bmw is also on the roadmap to offer three more electric suvs in fact they are on an ev offensive for the coming years and they are launching the i4 and the mini cooper se in the coming months so make sure you're subscribed to the evo india channel because we will be bringing you a lot more content for those cars as well now what is your most preferred feature for the iX let us know in the comments below also give us a thumbs up if you like this video until next time drive safe